right so here is the photoshop panel and this is the optimal view that how you should keep uh, your photoshop panel while you import the photo so this is the imported photo from the gallery and these are the color swatches you can keep this on the left side so that we can easily color with a paint bucket tool so let's start with the process first as the photo is already uploaded we'll start the process by selecting object selection tool okay what it will do is it will automatically select the objects within the photo see these are the subjects now what you can do is select the subjects this way yeah so the selection of this frame is accurate so no need to make it perfect uh, let's select this one So what will happen the selection is not accurate so we can make it proper by uh, lasso tool by manually selecting it so we will deselect the unnecessary part this way done remove the gap between the handle so this is a quick tutorial on how to best get out of it and do the process efficiently so this is a uh, object has been selected <clears throat> also make sure that you keep the add to selection on by default this will be selected new se uh, new selection but you should turn on this one so that every time you select it you don't need to press control Let's select this object Yeah, so it's done three objects have been selected now let's select this one press w to select automatic uh, this one object selection tool uh, click on it also if it is not selecting it properly you can try by draw, drawing roughly around it so that it, it will give it uh, the software the idea that this is the subject and we want to select it this way yeah so it has made a selection now we will need to make it perfect by using lasso tool yeah so this way you can make it perfect I'm not gonna make the full part perfect here So there will be total uh, seven to nine objects minimum so minimum seven objects should be selected and once the seven is selected uh, you can repeat the objects like frames so what I mean is uh, first seven objects should be with different categories if you suppose there are uh, 10 frames in the photo you cannot select uh, 9 frames out of it so uh, it becomes 9 objects no it doesn't work that way you will have to select different objects 7 different objects and then you can repeat any 2 okay, to make the 9 so let's say let's also 
read the guideline carefully we not we do not need to select pillows human pets and any static objects like you don't need to select the wall try to avoid the static objects maximum i will just make it 9 as of now to give you an idea this is a rough selection to just to give you an idea so while you are working make sure that the selection is perfect so suppose the nine objects have been selected seven to nine objects have been selected now what you can do is select solid color adjustment layer oh sorry uh, first after you complete selecting all the objects in at once you can duplicate it by pressing control plus j then select the background choose the solid color and make it black so now uh, we have achieved a black background now select the layers object layers press g or select the paint bucket tool make the opacity to 100% tolerance maximum tolerance 255 anti alias and contagious on now you can start painting on it with different colors try to avoid white color in the mask and make sure the colors are not being repeated this way yeah so it's done now you can export it to full png control alt alter s png you don't need to change the name save it as it is embed color profile we make it large file size first test saving done yeah so it's done on an average it will take around 4 to 6 minutes 3 to 6 minutes per photo let me know if you have any doubts about it and let's get started thank you